Liam, Tuesday night, 1-0 win over Wrexham and you scored a goal, another important goal from yourself. Um, what was the feeling like when uh, the ball went in the back of the net? It's a good feeling, it was a good feeling. Um, at the time I didn't know it was going to be the winning goal, but um, it turned out to be, which was, which was nice. But um, it was a tough game, fair play to Wrexham, they came. It made it really hard for us, especially the first, first 30, 35 minutes, a lot of the first half. You know, they had a game plan and um, you know, it was working for large parts, they didn't score. And then we, we were resilient, stuck in. And, um, you know, it, it paid off for us. Adding to large victories is always good, you know, scoring a goal in a 4 0, 3 0, whatever. But at the end of the 90 minutes, when the, the final whistle goes and it's your goal that's uh, got the three points, is that extra satisfaction? Yeah, extra satisfaction, just the three points um, and obviously scoring, it's nice to chip in with, with goals and assists. Um, me and Ben are obviously trying to do that as well. Um, takes pressure off the strikers as well if other players can score, so that's a good thing as well. But um, it was kind of similar to Bath City, uh, Bath City last season, um, kind of needed a goal and we didn't have our best of games that night and we still got away with the three points, but we can't always we can't always win playing unbelievable football, so sometimes you need those ugly wins. In our interviews, we often talk about Ben as well, don't we? Um, because yeah. you have a good relationship and on the pitch and off it. Uh, and I thought he played really well. But people sometimes take your performances for granted because you're very consistent and yeah. it's a high level, high level. And Ben is is reaching that as well, and his in his assists and his contribution in attacking to be really good. Yeah, he's been doing he's been doing brilliant. To be fair to him. Um, I mean, we're always together in the car school, we kind of rooms, rooming together and stuff. So we're always talking about football and just about consistency. And I think that's what we try and do. We try and be consistent at our jobs. And, you know, it's, it's good when people notice it, but we've got to carry it on and um, keep doing what we've been doing. In terms of him and himself on the pitch, he seems in, a, in the best way possible a lot more confident and that comes across. Yeah, definitely. He's he's like a he's a bit like a sponge like, you know, when you give him information, he takes it on board and you know, he, he's still young. People forget his age. He's been around a little while and um, you know, he's 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 as you get older, you get more experience, you get better with age and you know, I think I think he's always improving. Another long trip on Saturday. What can we expect? What we're we looking forward to on Saturday? Um well, for us we're going to be on a coach for a few hours. <laughs> That's what what we're going to expect uh, firstly but um, we're going to try and get the three points again that's that's what we're going to every game to try and do um, Halifax is going to be a tough game we're going to be well prepared we've got a meeting now as well so we're going to be well prepared for them and um, we're going to just try and uh, replicate um, some recent away performances